Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. So this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and as well Taurus Rising, a weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, uh, 2019 and bear with me just a second guys to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Taurus, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the second one which uh, stands for the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, uh, we do have the Tree of Cups. Furthermore, it is the uh, positive aspect of the week here, or what is going to help you there, we do have the Hierophant, and the last one uh, which stands for the guidance uh, that Taro is offering to you, that is to be, uh, for what it seems, the star card. All right, so um, Tree of Pentacles, which is the topic for you, is going to be catalyzed here by the Four of Swords. <clears throat> so for what it seems, first of all, these cards are a, a passive uh, enemies, and it looks like that it is time to address certain issues throughout this week, and then issues that you are to kind of like receive quite severe support into their development. So up until this moment, uh, uh, the way I take it here, it is that up until this moment, you couldn't know, you don't, you didn't know, excuse me, how to take on the certain matter. And now in this week, November 18 to November 24, there are to be people coming at your aid and with their help, with their guidance, with their counseling, and with the cooperation uh, with them, it looks like that you are to be able to resolve certain blockages and what i mean here is that these are kind of like a uh, situations that have blocked your growth um, example it is finding a job example it is going to be as well catching up in an important project you know example could be as well a not being able to connect with certain people as a potential partners and so on and so forth but the thing is that uh, that is the main topic for your week here it is that so much needed help and understanding on top of that is not like a um it is benevolent support, you know, through through a, an understanding of what your situation is, how you feel and what you're dealing with. A help comes around in face of a certain people that up until this moment, they have been just observant. And uh, together through their support, you actually will be able to develop, all right? Not just only grow, but as well de develop and deliver a result. So the next card here, it, it regards to the challenges that you will have to face, and that is going to be the Tree of Cups. Um, it is catalyzed by the Nine of Wands. So we do have a passive enemies once again. <clears throat> and uh, the challenge itself here, it's going to be um, 
a rearrangement, I would say. So what happens is it's, uh, when that, that help comes around from those people, uh, certain information um, or certain stereotype is going to be divulged to you that you may not be able to grasp on the concept of it, all right? So um, say someone comes to you, offers you to help you with uh, your endeavor, whatever that endeavor is, but tells you that you got to do a certain things so they can actually help you. And those, those things that you got to do that this person tells you may not be something that you would like to do, may not be something that you envision yourself doing in any way. So the, uh, the initial cooperation in between you and the support that comes around, either through counseling, you know, or through meaningful co uh, conversations or through cooperation is going to be the challenge for you. In, in other words, or kind of like, um, um, what was I about to say? A cumulatively said, the challenge is going to be grasping on their idea and synchronizing your vision with your support's vision as well. And obviously, if you have been blocked from growth, uh, there is a things that you got to do. There are, there are things, excuse me, that you have to change, that you have to readapt. Maybe up until this moment, you have searched into the wrong place to do so. And now those people that are coming to your aid are telling you, or giving you the sound advices where exactly you need to put your glance upon and what kind of issues you need to address into your business, you know, into your relationship, into your endeavors in general, so you can stir your situations back again. Back again. So the next one, uh, it will be about the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Hierophant, and is going to be catalyzed by the uh, King of Cups. So it's kind of situational here and under situational, I mean that uh, you have to accomplish the first couple of stages here that we talked about thus far. So this one can manifest and what these cards first are, they are a passive friends. And as passive friends, these two cards are saying that because you have understood the profound aspect of your situation, a long term, very... Mm, it is tempting, but as well, it is a beneficial and, and, and growing offer is going to come uh, at your at your side. So it's a proposition, either for a relationship, you know, either for a, a business, either for a, um, a project, some sort of a um, of a, a proposition is going to come at your um is going to come at your site and it is not because of a charity or or anyway it's not because people were feeling pity for you but because they see potential in you because they see that you do deserve that proposition this helping hand that comes around and kind of puts you out or drags you out of the mud uh, in this uh, situation that you are finding yourself at here as well with uh, this um with this offer or a helping hand, you are to see that many problems that you are having up until this moment are to be resolved into the existing framework of life. Okay, so it's not something that you cannot overcome. This is what I'm trying to say. You can expect as well with this person that is going to either help you or uh, make a proposition to have a, a very deep conversations as well, negotiating your way through, if I would say, because that person is to be quite professional, it's to be quite balanced as well. So it's not going to try to deprive you or to take advantage of your skills, of your emotions as well, you know, and of yourself in general. And the last card that we do have here for you, Taurus, is going to be the star card, which stands for the guidance that Tara is offering, and it is accompanied with uh, the... Uh, Ten of Swords. So the formation, it is their active supporters and they do speak as, a, uh, as this narrative, they do speak of pride. All right. Maybe uh, you are um, in, in you are finding yourself stuck in some uh, in some aspects of your life because you did not want it to accept any help or any helping hand, you know, or any option available in general that is given to you by other people 
okay? But now you're gonna have to. This is the guidance here that you will need to make those uh, drastic changes, I would say, in your life that is gonna put an end to your slog and although it may not be something that you're going to be proud of, okay, is going to um, make you embark a new dawn in your life that will put an end to your era of a uh, or a, a cycle of a turmoil and from there you can actually put your determination into a, a long-term fulcrum into a, a long-term goal into a, a long-term you know project in general or, or an aspect in your life and uh, you can manifest it because this is what the star card it is uh, promising to you so it's all about that you need to think about the bigger the bigger picture here all right do not kind of uh, Put your attention into that you are gonna take a helping hand and you may look weak into the eyes of others, all right? Yeah, you may be weak at the moment, but with this helping hand, you're going to situate yourself, you're going to consolidate your situation, and from there, you know, you can actually skyrocket toward your goal, toward your dream, why not, all right? Toward an unfolding love and toward a great success into career. So that being said, um, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 18th and to November 24th. It looks like that is going to be a big week, guys. And put your proud uh, pride on the shelf uh, because no one does it by themselves. Okay, so we're going to see each other next time. And until then, bye.